Hey guys, so this video is to go over directions for your Persepolis annotations. This is quite a long document. If you are in class, um, you will get a paper copy of this. If you are a distance learner, we highly suggest that you print a copy of the annotations. And if you're unable to print a copy, let us know and we will leave a copy for you in the front office. So the an annotations for this book are very, very specific. For the introduction, which will be your first assignment, um, you'll need two different colored highlighters and a pen, and it specifically tells you in one color, highlight the sections in the passage that help you answer this question. It asks you the question, after highlighting, write your answer below her name on the last page of the introduction in a complete sentence and label it number one. So this gives you a specific location and a specific way to label it. Right, so you need to make sure that you're paying attention to those directions. Question two says in another color highlighter, um, highlight the portion of the intro that helps answer a different question. After highlighting, write your answer below her name on the last page of the intro in a complete sentence that restates this question and label it number two. So again, it gives you instructions for highlighting, where to write your answer, and how to label your answer. As you continue to read, for example, The Veil, Chapter 1. For this chapter, there are five questions. Question 1 is for before you read. Write the definitions for the following words in your book. So you'll look on page 3, where obligatory is. You'll find it, you'll highlight it, and then you'll write the definition beside the word obligatory. Same thing for decadence on page 4 and avant-garde on page 6. Now, if you do this before you read, it's really important because then when you are reading, you'll automatically know what those words mean. As you read, you will also have annotations. So, for example, what are some of the differences in Marjane's life before and after the revolution? Highlight examples in yellow highlighter in your book that support the answer and write a summary at the top of page 4. For your annotation checks, if you don't have something written at the top of page 4, it will not count. You will receive a zero if the annotation is not written using the correct spot. Some days we might ask you for number 3, explain what are some of the reasons for being for or against the veil, explain each at the top of page 5. If I come around and look at your books and you wrote it on a different page and you have nothing at the top of page 5, you will not get credit. Number four tells you to write at the top of page seven. And then number five, at the end of each section, it will say label in the book areas where you see topics of separation of classes, personal choice, rebellion, education, and religion. For these sections, we are not asking you to explain them. We're just asking you to label them. So an annotation check might say, what are two areas that you labeled with the theme sentence starters, right? So where did you label personal choice or where did you label education or select two items that you labeled and let us know what they are um, and explain it to us in the in your annotation check. So your annotation and reading checks are going to vary quite a bit. As you look through, you'll notice that chapter two, before you read, explain in your own words and define. And then as you read, it gives you specific page numbers where to write your responses. This is the way it is set up throughout the entirety of the annotations for every single chapter. If you have questions about the annotations or you can't find something, do your very best, but you need to also make sure that you're messaging us and being proactive about your inability to find something. Um, because if you come to class and you're like, well, I couldn't find assembly on that page. Well, it's going to be really important for you to really advocate for yourself. All right, guys. So make sure you're following instructions. Make sure that you're reading carefully. There's plenty of room in the margins in between the pictures for your annotations. And let us know if you need anything. Talk to you soon.